Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to another Who's That Indie or a series, I'm not too sure yet, but welcome back to Starmancer. I backed this game many, many, many months ago, and they finally allowed us to show footage of the Alpha. We are in Alpha 0.0.9. Starmancer is Dwarf Fortress, but in space, and very, very, very early into development. They are planning um, emotions, death, murder, fire, insanity, raids, aliens, I think if I remember correctly, robots, and all sorts. But until we get to that stage, you start off with a nice basic base builder. Like if I quickly go into here, there is actually a section which says developer. Where yeah, is it? It was somewhere. There we go. Developer stuff. So, as you can see here, there's sort of like emergency centers with your beacons. You can even put down gun ranges, sentry guns, weapons lock lockers, and scanners. So, you can actually scan for air troops hiding weaponry as they come into your base, as you have visitors and so on. So, there's a lot of things in the game right now. Your people can die due to a lack of oxygen, food, sleep, stuff like that. But they won't get shot in the head by angry other people. Unless you want to. Again, it's there for developer, but it's not obviously set up. Now, Starmancer is basically, you are a Starmancer, a person who has melded their brain with a machine. This is me. You now control this floating city thing. I harvested a colonist. Let's make you a labourer. So you give people jobs. There's only four jobs in the game right now. There's no security or anything. There's labourer, mechanic, farmer, and chef. It's obviously... Mechanics repair things, chefs obviously uh, cook things, and um, your farmers grow things. There's not too much in there right now. As you can see, they wander around, they do their own thing. They have to eat and sleep at times, just like they do in every other base building game. But yeah, the game is meant to be very much like Dwarf Fortress, and hopefully it is. So I'm just going to lay down some foundation. We're going to start building a city. Like I say, I'd love to see more stuff in this. Like, they would not let us show any of this footage. They actually asked on the main menu, not to show before the 14th. And obviously it's been a few days later because, quite frankly, I suck at the YouTube right now and I keep forgetting to do stuff. But we are here, we are doing the stuff and the things. And this is it. So your base build, obviously these are your little drones you get from over here. Right now, the only way to get resources are mining drones. You put power into them, they come back with a little bit of ore and a little bit of ice. Ore and ice get turned into metal, as you can see. And they get turned into basically your fuel. Your fuel runs everything. You must get ice for water, stuff like that. So, you get ice, it turns to water. You get ore, it turns into fuel and metal. Obviously over here in your ore refinery. Obviously you can have multiple ore refineries and multiple drones. You can build it as big as you like, but of course right now there isn't too much within the game. I'm just showing off how it looks, how it works, and if I can I'll keep on going, but there aren't too many... Look, there's back already. And there we go. Got some nice resources. And there we are. So we're going to grow another colonist. Which requires some more of this ooze, this biomass. We have some stored on the shelf over here. Get the dining area over here too. There we go. But yeah, the game is looking to be quite good. But again, it's very early. So I'm just basically guessing at this point in time. We only have access to lots of floors, lots of walls. So if you like making things look different, you really can. Like lab, painted, half panel, tech paint, foundation. You can do a lot of cool things to make your base look different to everybody else's. Of course, right now, I want something which looks vaguely useful as opposed to whatever the hell everything else is. So we're gonna use most of our metal to start building floor. You can also, if you want to, change the color of things like this. Now everything is purple. So you can also change the color of everything in one go. So we're gonna have that as a walkway to there. They're gonna have, let's see. That's two squares, I'd like a three square, it's like a five square wide dining area. So there, there we go. Let's start off uh, here. Oh. Let's start off to there. And that'll be our dining area. So as you can see, we're using all of our metal. Now saying there's low oxygen and low temperature, it is. In these red areas, my people go in there, they die! But we don't really care about that right now, so we're gonna ignore it. We're gonna grow ourselves a new colonist. How'd you come? So you can, what is this? Friendly likes everyone. I recognize that mushroom, isn't that, um, what's it called? That stupid 2D game, and I made a 3D version, number two. 
Dag Nabbit, I can't remember. But yeah, each one has their own little things, like he requires less sleep. He cannot talk, he's mute, that's a bit of a problem. So you're going to be a labourer, a secondary a farmer, why not? So we have this, this is food, this obviously is fuel and resources. So yeah, we have some starting resources, we're obviously going to have to make more. But right now, as long as you make things work, you don't really need too much extra. Do that, there, there, oh, no, there. These will be your bedrooms. And everything is being built currently by these mining robots, or these little drones. I don't know what's going to change in the future, but currently that's how it's done now. Like, maybe you can make more, maybe you'll need a machine to make more, but right now that's all you have. So, power comes along from my my generator over here, which uses obviously resources. You need to actually have wires in the ground. Now, right now, you have to use your middle mouse to sort of move around like this. And obviously you can't do that when you're in this, so I'm, right, I'm holding my middle mouse to not doing anything. But yeah, you need power to go along everywhere, as you can see. So you actually need to connect it. Green obviously showing it's working. You also need water pipes, and you also need air ducts. Now you don't really need air ducts at the beginning, but as you can see there's a little slot over here, which is my oxygen. But if you have air ducts and you make a doorway, you don't have oxygen in that room, because there's a doorway. So you kindly need to make sure you actually have air ducts and wall vents in places where you need resources and also oxygen and also people. Look at that, it's all purple now, that's like that. Is it pink? Eh, it's almost purple, I'll take pink. So you have one oxygen to be in here, I'd like to have a vent or a air duct. So you've got to kind of make sure things, oops, oh, okay. So anyway, let's carry on. So building up, let's delete this as well. And then we'll have, let's see, a door. Hmm. Let's actually have a proper door here, why not? Let's not have a door here, otherwise people will die now I think about it. My first test, everyone just died inside the Starmancer core because I put a doorway on it. And I put a doorway on it because my first test, I was expecting pirates. Of course, if that's in the developer area, they may not actually exist in this stage, it's just here to show you how the game works. Because obviously I backed this game at the alpha tier. Not popular enough as a YouTuber to get it for free. I like I like backing a lot of Kickstarter games, I really do. Some work, some don't, you know. It's just how it is. But yeah, here you go, we're slowly expanding the base. We can obviously print more people, which I'm going to. I don't we have enough oxygen. This is trying to keep it at 21% oxygen, 1% carbon dioxide. We're down to two water, that's fine. But yeah, it looks like we're doing okay. Obviously the floor's a bit meh. We'll work on that, we'll make it look nicer. So give me some wooden beds, why not? Actually, yeah, yeah. Actually, give me some standard beds. We don't want them to be too nice. There we are. Uh, so no, we need too much other things, really. Everything else is just nice. Let's see what are these? Just standard, just standard chairs. Hmm. Do that. There's a table, a mesh table, wooden table, here we go. We have this in the middle. I like that, there we are. So we now have a kitchen. Not a kitchen, a, caf a cafeteria, I guess. So a big massive dining table. Fit for... 12 people. There we go. As you can see, we're building up and making things look nice. We're low on biomass already. Okay. Oh yeah, the wooden stuff requires biomass. We need more biomass. Actually come number two. Number three, actually. What's your problem? So we need some toilets, I think, because they require, if you look at this, sleep, hunger, heat, cold, bathroom, and oxygen. I don't think I have a bathroom. Toilet stool. Okay, I need some, let's put some... Let's just put some toilet stools in here for now. We'll move them later. Everyone gets to... I get to watch everyone go toilet. That's what I do now. So we're going to extend the water pipe. Take that. There we go. So there we go. Anyone who wants to talk to their owner or their master, who literally created them, can also poop. Everybody poops. I always watch. I am the core. So there'll be different types of cores in the main game. There's even like a special backup core, if I remember correctly. There will be new cores in the game. Obviously, this is very much a work in progress. A major, major work in progress. Like, a lot of things are going to be built upon and changed. So don't think this is all they're currently got. 
This is all they currently have right now. Okay, we're we'll actually put a um oops, keep pressing escape. We're gonna put a garden area here to start off with. We can obviously expand later. So they've got basically everything they need right now. That comes back, gives me more resources. That's going to be metal and fuel, maybe to ex extend that a little bit. We have water coming in still. I'd like to see showers and things. I think they are in a future build, question mark? What have we actually got here? Fishing, power reactor, using radiation. That sounds painful. Graffiti. That's just completely unnamed. That's a medic medibed. Sentry guns. You put a sentry gun down, it actually stays on the floor. Only during red alerts does it pop up. Obviously, right now we don't really have access to stuff like that. In the very, very alpha build, which they showed at the very beginning, after the backing of the game, you're allowed to obviously mess around with that, but you couldn't actually play the game. It was more here's stuff in the game. This right now, obviously, this is a playable build. It may not be an exciting, fully playable build, but it is a playable build. There's cool things happening. This is where everyone gets sucked out into space. So I think they can get sucked out into space, if I remember correctly, from them talking about it. So there should be a load of... Yes, there's a load of biomass. We've got plenty of resources moving around. Obviously, we have people eating over there. I like the food over here, but we'll get to that later. There we go. So you can only have access to these three little building drones. We only have one mining drone, but we can build more. And we probably will. I'm actually going to look at this. I don't think it actually requires... Yeah, it doesn't require any metal to build these uh, foundations. All right. So either that's just for the uh, demo, as it were, this demo alpha build, or they don't plan on making it cost, because I think they should make it cost to build, whereas you can just literally expand across the entire map. But, you know, that's a future thing. It's just more, I think, to get you into it. Why am I lagging a little bit? What the hell is that about? A little bit of lag going on. I don't know why. Shouldn't be. Standard floor. There we are. As you can see, it starts to look nicer. So what we're going to do here is... Crop spots. Like that. I'm going to extend it a bit more. Then we're going to build... Let's have a look. Where was it? Crop drop off here. There we are. As you can see, the base is coming along nicely. Things are happening, people are everywhere. It would be nice to obviously have more drones, but we'll take what we can get. No clean water out there. So right now, this is getting dirty water in it, and it's run out of water tanks. Now, we don't really need any more water tanks. Like we can extend it a bit more if we feel like it, but we don't really need them. I mean, we're going to, just because I can, but we don't really need them. And obviously, right now, we can't really get to them either. I imagine I imagine in the future, that would be a much greater problem if they catch fire. Or get shot by pirates, you know. But yeah. Heater, wall vent, auction, recycle. Food brick factory. We convert spoiled food into biomass. Maybe we should have this here. Wait, which way does this go? I 
I don't know. It, it's hard to say. Anyway. This might be chef stuff. We'll have this as like a chef area yeah, next to the food. Why not? You can see we're building up. More water's being made. I think we're doing okay. He said no sleep. Why no sleep? Oh, you're slightly tired. You're talking. So as you can see, there is a social dynamic in the game. There's all sorts going on. There is a, obviously a lot of things currently missing. And that's going to be that way because the game has a lengthy cycle currently ongoing. But it does require metal. Let's stop building entirely. Good. But yeah, there is a lengthy cycle to it. And um, obviously this is exceedingly early. Because they've shown combat and stuff obviously in the, to, in the trailer. And there is turrets and stuff available to use but as developer. So there is a lot more to come. Poop. Are you just talking to your food? Deaf can't hear. You're liked by everyone, you're very tolerant and you're deaf and you're talking to your food. Huh. And there you are, mad people. But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to seeing where this goes. Do that. Not to there. Oops. Do that to there. Oh, they're both are the same one, I think. But yeah, we have resources going on. We have a lot of equipment going on. Lots of spent a lot. No clean or dirty water. Unpowered objects. Yeah, that's fine. That'll be these. Low metal, low oxygen. That'll be here as well. That's fine. It looks to me like if you have it in a certain order, your stuff just stops working. Because right now, of course, nothing else is being built. It looks like we're waiting for these to be built. It's not working on here or here. That's fine. So they're working currently in order as opposed to what the next best thing they can do. That's just an AI tweak, that is. We had the graphics are all right. This is the graphics they've shown. Obviously, things will get a bit better as time goes by and more things get added. The fact is, there's a lot of things to look at. There are a lot of things to look at. This weird freezing needs to stop, though. There's a lot of things moving. Like, not too cluttered, but stuff is active. I like that. Like, you can tell when machines are working. It gives it life. Like, not too insane. You don't feel like the whole world is trying to screw you over. But there is life and movement. Which always gives a game that just extra little thing. Like even just a flashing light sometimes just helps just to make it feel like something's happening. But yeah, here we go. Look at that. But they need more stuff. That's fine. How do I get rid of this? Get rid of those. Come on. Put me stuff. My robot's broken? Oh well. I felt like it's like weird lag stuff's going on as well. But anyway. It wasn't earlier. Maybe it's just unoptimized. Could be unoptimized. Could. Wait, look at him! So yeah, there's a few things with the game still, obviously, Alpha. <laughs> Like the deaf guy talks to his food and sits the wrong way now. Why not? Okay, this is a nanobot station. There we go. So here we go. Low biomass, assign more laborers. So we have we need more laborers. We'll get a fourth. Come on. We'll prioritize the hell out of this. As you can see, they're deploying metal at last, it's actually finally working. So my nanobots just had a bit of an issue, that's fine. Oh, you have nothing. You should be a labour slash farmer. Everyone should be a labourer. 
You all work for me. Suddenly table. The lag seems to have gone. Maybe it is an issue with the robots. It could be, because now I'm not seeing any kind of freezes happening. Yeah, it could be just an issue with the robots, who knows. But there you are. We are building. No, I told you to put that back, what are you doing? Oh, I thought, no! Damn it! Okay, fine, whatever. That's going to be annoying. We have to change the walls and things now. But yes, as you can see, we're still getting things going. And the game works pretty well if you ignore the slight weird um, freezing we were getting a second ago. Which I'm still not quite sure what that was about. As you can see, things seem to be going okay. We have a lot of stuff going on. What is this? Missing objects. Yeah, need a colony drop. Need a drop off nearby. Need a non-empty water tank. Non-full water recycler. Yeah, that's fine. We've got all that stuff. We just obviously need more resources to be dropped off. But yeah, this it works pretty well when it actually isn't slightly laggy. It looks pretty good. Obviously, it's not the best to look at. But all your characters do stuff. Them. I think they go for a pixely idea of the whole actual colours themselves. Obviously, they look a bit more basic than the rest of the game currently. But yeah, I like it. And obviously, I like it because I backed it like twice the price to get into Alpha. And here we are. Building the world for my new little peasants. Harvest the colonists. Welcome. Farmer. And then so that you could be a mechanic, even though we don't need anything uh, repaired at this point in time. But there we are. I like games like this. I always do. Is he repairing things? I just saw him kneeling. Obviously, there's going to be more stuff, like you say, you can arm your people, there should be security in the future, there'll be a lot more jobs and things to do. Yeah, he's repairing things. Excellent. Oh, and they're actually putting in the, the, the cables and things, look. Must be a little bit low on metal and so on. That's fine. How are we doing power-wise? Oh, wires half done, water will be there later, okay. Yeah, so we're a little bit low on resources. We probably could do another miner. Or maybe another one of these. Maybe a second ore refinery, an actual refinery room. But yeah, it's all about how you want to do it. And obviously, again, everything works really well at this current stage of Alpha. Like 0 0.0.9. It's not even a full 0 0.1 yet. So there's a long way to go in this development. Like it's not even available currently. I was putting links and stuff down to its page and so if you to wish list it, but it shouldn't be available currently because this is the alpha only backer or, or YouTuber backer, I guess. Some YouTubers got code for it too. Although I backed it. Was it last year? Might be the year before now I think about it. Backed it a long time ago. But yeah, I'm very excited for games like this, and I always have been. And I look forward to seeing where this goes. But anyway, I've been the Fallen Shogun. This has been Starmancer, the Dwarf Fortress of the Stars. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you in the next one, people. Ciao for nows. I recommend it. Wishlist it now. Bye-bye.